Hi everyone and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. Today I'm sharing my May 2018 plan with me. As you can see here, I'm starting off with my cover page, which I kept pretty simple this month. I actually doodled or wrote out May with my Tombow and created uh, an outline with my Stedler fine liner pens. I don't know exactly what these are called. All the products I use today and the specific colors are going to be linked down in the description box below so you can easily find them if you want to purchase them yourself. But um, yeah, I did these 3D letters and then decided to add a little bumblebee doodle because when I asked on Instagram for some May spread requests, a lot of people asked for a bumblebee theme and although I didn't keep the bumblebee, bumblebee theme like throughout all the pages, I did try and incorporate it into some of my spreads. So uh, yeah, I added that little bee. And on the next page is where I did my month at a glance. Looking back on it, I wish I would have made this the month at a glance portion a little bit smaller in this triangle because I think it looks a little too big for the triangle. So something to make note of if you're going to recreate this spread yourself and then I created some other shapes to write down my goals and events. On the next page I decided to do a, a monthly tracker. Sometimes I incorporate this into my weekly spreads but this month I thought it'd be fun to do a whole page dedicated to trackers and on these clipboards, I am tracking my water intake, which I labeled as agua, yoga, and reading. Right below my clipboards, I decided to create a box for every day of the month to track the little things. It's my, it's the little things section where I write down something small from the day that I really appreciate it so it could just be the smell of my morning coffee or a song that lifted my spirit. The key thing here is something little um, because I'm a big believer in focusing on the little things in life and I thought this would be a fun month to do it. On the page on the right I wrote out a self-care challenge that I found on Pinterest. I pinned it to my self-love board so if you want to check it out it will be linked in the description box below if you follow me on pinterest you'll see lots of pins for a variety of topics including my bullet journal board which uh, i really love pinning things that inspire me so maybe there's some inspiration there for you as well but i thought this would be a good month to focus on some self-care because the last month with exam season i just was not focusing on myself at all so this challenge was a lot of fun there's things like watch a documentary or have a social media free day, things like that that I think are uh, simple but uh, really good for you things to do. If you decide to do this challenge yourself, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. On the next page, I decided to write down my skincare routine because so many of you have been asking me to do a video on my skincare routine and I promise you it is coming this month. So because I do plan on filming it shortly, I wanted to write down my or get my routine routine down on paper and also what products I really love using so that when I'm filming I don't forget to mention any of them. Obviously I'm using this spread more as an outline for a video but you could definitely add this to your bullet journal just as a fun spread or even use it as a tool. Maybe you don't follow a skincare routine really consistently right now or maybe you're you're not doing enough in your skincare routine and you want to be doing more uh, writing it down on paper and having a plan can sometimes be enough to keep you motivated to stay on top of your skincare day and night so that's just an idea if you wanted uh, to put some utilization behind the spread Then I created a doodle for each step of my routine and below each step I wrote down um, some of the products that I use. I don't use all of these products day and night. I kind of switch between different things. So yeah, I just wrote down anything I could remember. I was in my hometown when I created this spread. So when I go back to Toronto, I'll add more to it because there are definitely a few products that I am missing on here.
Below my skincare routine, I'm also adding a playlist spread. This was also oddly highly requested on Instagram by a few of you that sent me private messages. I've been getting a lot of requests to share both like the music that I like listening to and also study playlists. So I haven't created a study playlist on Spotify yet, but most of the songs I listed here are already on a Spotify playlist. So I'll link my Spotify account down below and I'm going to try and make it a mission to create more playlists, especially, you know, study playlists um, that I think are great for when you're doing work or just, you know, just random playlists. I really love music. I love a variety of music, both things that are popular and things that are a little bit more indie and I don't know, my tastes are all over the place. So if you wanna give it a look, um, like I said, my Spotify account will be linked below. On the next page, I recreated one of my favorite meal planner spreads, but with an added twist by creating a little doodle for each meal. So for breakfast, I did pancakes. For lunch, I created a really pitiful looking sandwich. And for dinner, I did pepperoni pizza, which honestly makes no sense because I'm a vegetarian, so I don't even eat meat. But pepperoni pizza is the easiest thing to draw. So alas, there it is. Of course, if you've seen the spread before, you know how it works. Beside each day of the week, you just write down what you want to eat for each meal. It's pretty simple and I have loved using this spread in the past and will definitely love using it this summer because I am going to be able to make a little bit more interesting meals now that I have a little bit more time to do so. The last two pages were dedicated to my weekly spread and I brought back the bee theme that I started on the first page by creating this honeycomb spread. Each day of the week gets their own hexagon and there's an extra hexagon for a to-do list. Let me tell you, hexagons are surprisingly more difficult to draw than I thought they'd be when I first started brainstorming these spreads. I spent a solid 20, 30 minutes trying to figure out how to draw these, which may sound ridiculous, but the like the dimensions of a hexagon have to be sort of exact for it to look right, and I just was not getting it right. So I had to look online and found, finally I found uh, a Google image that helped me out. So I'm actually going to write down the dimensions that I used. And if I can find that picture, I'll also link that down below to help me out and to make your life a little bit easier. If you too uh, find hexagons very difficult to draw. <laughs> I mean, they're not very difficult. Once you figure it out, it's, it's fine. It's just, there was a little bit of a learning curve there. And then at the bottom, I also added a quote that is a play on the word be, to be or not to be, that is the question. Ugh, so clever, I know. I added some more bees and I wrote down, you know, what week of May this would be and huh, what, what week of May this would be. Ha <laughs> ha, all the bee puns are coming out. I really love the look of the spread and then I also went in with my Tombow to add some pops of color. I also went back to other spreads uh, and added some more color because I, I really do like adding pops of color. I think it takes, takes spreads to a new level. that is my may 2018 plan with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comment section below which spread was your favorite and i will see you all very soon with a new video bye guys